Good morning, wow. friends. It is Tuesday morning. Um, we are getting a Walmart grocery order. My goal every week is to do it on Monday morning, start the week off good with a new grocery order, but I never, ever get to do it on Monday mornings because I never sit down Sunday night and actually meal plan and figure out what all we need and go through my pantry and refrigerator and all that. So, do you see them coming? Not yet. Um, Walmart is very busy at 8. 20 a.m. on Tuesday morning, the Walmart grocery pickup. We're getting groceries this morning. I am gonna do like a get it all done today, I believe. Um, I'm bringing y'all along for my day as I'm getting things done. I'm gonna meal prep today. I guess I could show you a quick little grocery haul, maybe. But we are gonna be meal prepping. We're gonna just be getting some stuff done today. So, um, first of all, we're getting our groceries. I did try to go to Starbucks this morning. I dropped Delaney off at school. And then I tried to go to Starbucks this morning and the line was ridiculously long and so now I need coffee so bad like I wish I would have made my coffee at home before we went to school which I typically do but I was like you know what I'm going to Walmart to get my groceries right after I drop her off let's just wait and I'm gonna go to Starbucks but I did and then now I'm regretting that also this morning Callan woke me up at 6 20 which my alarm goes off at 6 and I get up at 6 so I, I've been trying to get myself ready in the mornings and I woke up, my alarm didn't go off because my phone was off and I don't know why. So, um, that was very weird. Um, it wasn't dead or anything like that. It was just very weird that my phone was uh, off. So, I didn't, yep, here they come. I didn't get to get myself completely ready, but here we are. I'd show y'all like a really quick grocery haul just because I have everything laid out so I thought I'm filming today why not just go ahead and show it so I got three more coffees I've actually got um, I need to wipe down this refrigerator before I put anything in it I've got a little bit more left so I'm gonna wait to refill that till it's all gone so I do have that for when I'm ready to refill it yes this is all I do the stoke coffee is the best um, iced coffee this is all I do is pour it in there let me go grab Cal but anyways that's all I do is pour that in there I got some juice boxes I think I got one more of those we'll use them um there I got like a big pack and then I got a separate I'll, I'll show you in a second anyway so I got some cokes for Ethan I got several Lunchables. A lot of times they're out of these, so I was like, mm, let's just stock up. So I got some pizza ones, I got some chicken nugget ones, which we've never, I've never bought those chicken nugget ones. And some cracker ones, I got some more eggs, we've got some grapes and granola bars, a few snack things, cinnamon rolls, toaster strudels. Uh, we've been loving hot chocolate and we needed some regular mini marshmallows for it. So I got those, um, Oreo dippers, onion, baked potatoes, cucumbers, blueberries, uh, shredded hash browns. I got some broccoli for my meal prep tonight, or for today. Some more tortillas, got a few more little snack things, muffin cereal. They didn't, uh, Millie is completely potty trained, but we do put a pull up on her at night. But they didn't have the girl print, so just got the boy print because the parents' choice ones are just as good as the other ones as far as pull-ups. So we got those. That's what I was talking about. I got a big thing of it, and then they ended up giving me, um, I ended up getting that as well. Uh, some chicken breast, and we'll leave that in the pack because it's kind of leaking. So I'm going to meal prep with that. 
pizzas, got some dryer sheets because it is the season for all your clothes to be staticky. I don't use dryer sheets a lot, but our clothes, clothes have been so staticky lately and I know this helps with that, so I got some of those. Also got some of this kitchen cleaner. Never tried. I've tried the Lysol, but I don't think I've ever tried this orange one. And then I got the kids some um, mouthwash. They've never tried this one, so thought we'd try this Listerine Berry Smart Rinse. Um, and then Lainey needed a couple things for like homework at home for school stuff. So I got her this pencil sharpener. It's an electric one. Um, so we're going to, thought I'd give that to her to put on her desk for schoolwork. And then she needed some more pencils as well. I didn't realize those were not the already pre-sharpened ones. But, oh well. Anyways, that's my girl trial. I'm going to uh, go feed Kellen. And then I'm going to start putting this up and get everything organized and situated. And then we're going to meal prep and do all the things today. We've got the refrigerator and the pantry. I do need to go through the pantry again, but it does look better. I did want to update y'all on the bowls or the little um, veggie and fruit storage thing that I got. I love it for veggies. I've got cucumbers in here that I just bought today. I do not love it for fruit because they do not stay as fresh in these. So this is my favorite fruit method. I wash my fruit. I put my fruit in there and then put a paper towel on top and then I turn the bowl upside down and then whenever I get the kids more fruit I can replace that paper towel and fruit lasts so much longer doing it this way versus in there it just wasn't working out so I'm just gonna use these for like veggies and stuff and not necessarily fruit so I did want to update y'all because I did get some questions on how that was working out versus this method that I love. Um, so yes, I do prefer that method. Um, so we've got a pretty stocked refrigerator. I need to eventually get myself ready for the day or maybe I won't. But um, as far as our meals this week, I've got some stuff in the freezer tonight. I'm going to make some vegetable soup. I've actually got ground beef laid out for that that I didn't get to make last week that I was supposed to. So we're going to make that tonight and I'll show you all that. And then um, we have steaks that I didn't make last week or the week before that I put in the freezer so they didn't go bad. Uh, breakfast for dinner, which is like a weekly thing that I always have on our meal plan. We always have stuff for it. All right, so while I'm cleaning, I kind of want this to start cleaning as well. Okay, so I have talked about my Robo Rock robot vacuum cleaner and how much I love it. This is actually the newer one. I actually have been able to test out the newer one that I've had in the past. This is the Roborock S7 and I love this thing so much. It works amazing on my floors. Not only does it vacuum my floors for me, like it'll go through my whole house and vacuum all of my house. Not only does it do that, it also mops my floor at the same time, which is really awesome. So it's got the water right here. I do need to attach the mop pad that I'll show y'all how that works. But before I get started, I wanted to show y'all this thing went through my whole house yesterday and I have not emptied this yet but look at this how full this is it gets into so many 
nooks and crannies and underneath uh, dressers and underneath all kinds of stuff and does the best job at cleaning my house. So I did want to share with y'all the app because this thing is awesome. So I'm going to connect the Riverrock S7 and it, this is a map of my house. Um, it's got each room kind of mapped out and what's really cool is you can clean by room, you can clean your whole house, you can zone. Let me show y'all the zoning. So let's say I wanted to zone out my dining area. This is my dining area and I can uh, do the zoning on it and it just cleans that area and as soon as it's done it'll go right back to the dock So it's super cool to do that way you can do it really anywhere in your home or you can go by room You can do bedrooms you can do living room kitchen and all of that If you wanted to just do the main areas of your house so you it didn't go in the bedrooms or anything like that It's super easy to do it that way and then also another really cool feature is you can schedule it so i don't have any schedules on here at the moment but you can schedule it each day you could do like monday through friday let's clean the main areas of the house from at 10 o'clock a.m or whenever you want to schedule it i did want to share that with y'all because it is such a cool vacuum cleaner and it's like such a good christmas gift or just a gift for yourself for your home this is definitely one of my favorite things i have in my home I am installing the mop pad here and you don't have to do the mop pad you can just vacuum it but I'm showing you how easy it is you don't even have to like lift up the vacuum cleaner you literally just slide it in there what's really cool about this mop is how efficient it is with getting stuff off your floors it scrubs floors up to 3,000 times per minute with its sonic mapping technology so it eliminates like dried on dirt that some robot robot vacuum cleaners may leave behind so this robo rock has precision mapping it goes it went around my entire house the very first time i did it and kind of mapped out my house it gets everywhere as you can kind of tell here it makes sure it gets into like every little corner it gets every little space in your home and even spaces that I didn't realize it could even go under it went under our dresser and Ethan was so impressed by that like how easily it just goes under there and cleans under spaces that we hardly ever can get to clean you have multiple floors it can do up to four levels in your home in this particular vacuum the brush that was in the old ones was replaced with like an all rubber one that's more durable and it kind of avoids like the hair tangles that could get in there it also has an intelligent mop where it lifts when the carpet is detected which you are about to see right here as it goes over the carpet the mop part actually lifts up and then when it goes off the carpet it'll come back down so now that I've told you all about the new Robo Rock S7, if you guys are interested, I'll have the links below that'll take you right to it where you guys can get your own Robo Rock S7. This is an amazing robot vacuum cleaner, so go check it out. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start on my meal prep. I know I shared this maybe in the last video that I actually did a meal prep, but this just sounded so good this week, and I know it's been at least a few weeks since I've did it. So we're going to do some teriyaki chicken with mushrooms and broccoli and some like, um, kind of like a fried rice type deal. Um, but it just sounded so good for lunches this week. And this is something that I don't get tired of and I'll eat it every single day. So we're going to make it for the next four days, um, to today through Friday. So we're going to do some uh, Jihu sugar-free teriyaki marinade. I need to pick up another bottle of this. I think we have enough for today. This is delicious and zero points for the amount that you'll actually use per serving. We're going to do some mushrooms, my absolute favorite. We're going to do some broccoli in here. We've got some white rice that I'm going to um, make. And then I've got my chicken. So I'm going to cut my chicken up. I think I thought about cooking some stuff in my air fryer. I actually think I'm going to cook it all right here. Um, it just be super easy. Go ahead and get my chicken done and then I can cook the mushrooms and I think I'm going to just steam the broccoli. I think this is a steamable bag. Um, and then kind of just put everything together and then cook the rice separately. So it just sounded so good this week. So I'm going to make that again. It's such a good like filling lunch. So let's get started making this for lunch today or for the rest of the week. I'm just cutting up my chicken into small pieces. This would be very good in the air fryer too. Um, I just thought one pan to do everything would be the ideal thing. 
So I'm just cutting it up into small pieces and cooking it in a pan. I just used some spray, olive oil spray. And then on that, I added a little bit of garlic powder and then some salt and pepper. And that's all I did to the chicken until I added everything else to it. I cooked my broccoli in the microwave. That way it got soft. And that way, once I added it to it with the teriyaki sauce, it'd be like perfectly cooked the way I like it. Um, and then to the chicken, I'm going to add some mushrooms and kind of add everything together, add the sauce to it. And that is kind of how I do that part of the meal. the rice I just thought I'd do, use one pot for it I had already got already got the rice done so I added an egg and kind of scrambled it in the same pot and then I add just a little bit of soy sauce and that was all I did to my rice and I love the way it tastes I think it's delicious and so then I just plated it I did like three-fourths of a cup of rice and then the meat and veggies and that was my meal prep this week We are done. We're just counting for the rice. Five points for the amount I used, and then I'll add this each day, however many points I used for that. It's almost nap time. Callan's ready for his nap after I've done this. But yes, all this is zero, and then a little bit for this, and then the rice. So, super yummy lunch. So, I've already done, I've cleaned a few of the pieces of trash up, but it is a mess when I get done meal prepping. So I'm gonna go get these kiddos done for a nap in just a few minutes, it's almost 12 o'clock. And then I'm gonna eat lunch and then I'm gonna get all this cleaned up. Plus from the kids lunch, <laughs> I should have waited to run that. There's stuff all in the floor from that. So yeah, we're gonna do nap time and then I'm gonna get started cleaning all of this and try to get a little bit of housework done. So I started cleaning and realized I wasn't filming. So I just continued on cleaning. So I thought I'd just show y'all clean kitchen <laughs> versus cleaning with me. Um, I could wipe down my appliances again. I don't think I'm gonna do that right now. Thing is clean and all that. I do have some stuff right here that needs to be put away, but charging my computer, my water bottle's right there. I need to put this back underneath my messy cabinet. A couple more dishes in the sink. One of them is uh, soaking and then I have some other dishes drying. But the kitchen's clean, so that's good. Can you tell I'm a little bit out of breath? I did go ahead and just throw my hair up and I think I'm gonna just go makeup free today, which is really nice. I also, I didn't even do anything to my hair this morning. I literally brushed it and just kind of went. And normally I can't do that because my hair is a mess in the mornings, like I have to do something to it. But I decided to just throw it up in a little low bun and this is how I'm gonna be the rest of the day. And I'm not gonna worry about any makeup today, which is really nice. Um, I think I'm gonna go relax for just a few minutes. I'm gonna go probably switch out the laundry so we can start drying and then the kids are still napping. So I'm gonna try to relax for a few minutes while they're napping and get myself a little bit of, just a little bit of downtime. I might do a few things on my computer. Other than that, um, before I get started with the rest of the laundry and all that. All right, I'm getting ready to work my way in here and uh, make my bed, do some laundry and all that. We actually just, we had washed all of our bedding yesterday. We didn't plan to do that, but Millie, we walked in here yesterday and she was drawn on our bed with a marker. So we had to take all of our bedding off and go ahead and wash it, which was nice. There's like no better feeling than getting into a freshly washed, clean sheets and bed and all that. But I'm going, getting ready to do some laundry and I'm gonna go ahead and put all this away. I actually just got this in the mail um, from Marina Cole Clothing, which is, it's just a really uh, affordable and really pretty clothes for kids. Um, I actually got all of this. They had a $12.99 and under sale. So all of this was like $12.99 and under. Um, so that's why I ordered all this. And Callan won't be able to, but I'm thinking I might be able to reuse some of it next year for the girls. So we're going to go ahead. All Most of this is Christmas stuff. So I did get Callan. This is a... Um, what do you call it? Romper uh, Long Gall. That's kind of what you call them. They, we have that one for him, and we got each of the girls one too. It is red. It looks kind of pinkish. I don't know if you can tell. 
but it is red. So we got each of the girls one of those. I did open one so that way I could see. I opened Delaney's to kind of see the length on it. This will probably be the last year Delaney's going to even like agree to wear stuff like this. So I'm getting use out of it. I also got Callan this one. It's the same style, the little long galls. I thought that was really pretty. I think I got that one because I got the girls. Oh, they're not completely matching, but I got the girls a little reindeer dress too. So I did get that. I did get Callan a couple things for next year. Um, turkeys. So I think I got him like three different ones. Um, he can wear next year in the size that I think he will be in. Those were like $6 a piece, five or $6 a piece. Um, so they are rompers. And then I got each of the girls one of these Nutcracker little swing dresses. These are so soft and just so pretty. That's what that looks like. Super soft material. And then I also got Callan this. This is also a romper. Thought it'd be really good for the winter time. Um, I didn't realize it does have Christmas trees on it. I thought it was mostly, mainly like just winter, but it is, I guess, Christmassy. I think that's it. And these are the other girls' things I've already showed y'all. So I'm gonna open all this, go ahead and hang all this up and do some laundry and make up my bed and all that stuff. What a feeling, now it's time for Christmas. And Christmas is my favorite time of year It's beginning to look like all my wishes Are coming true, that's why I cheer I've been busy decking the halls I've been kind to big and small And now it's time to have a merry holiday what a feeling when it's time for Christmas Let's sing a carol and we'll bring it here I guess that spring and summer, they're all fine But I've been waiting for the season that's mine So let it come, yeah let it come Snowflakes fall, I can hear the sleigh bells call They're saying it's time to have a merry holiday What a feeling, now it's time for Christmas And Christmas is my favorite time of year It's beginning to look like all my wishes are coming true, that's why I cheer I've been busy decking the halls I've been kind to big and small And now it's time to have a merry holiday Alright, I'm done with my laundry for now I did put another load in And then I need to wash Millie's bedding today But, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do our supper for tonight So that way we like have a busy evening so that way we're not tempted to eat out because I'm trying to do better about eating at home. My camera died. But I'm trying to do better about cooking more at home. So we're gonna make some vegetable soup. Um, this is the easiest recipe of, for vegetable soup. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and make it up, or at least, I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and cook the ground beef and I'm gonna throw everything into the crock pot until, I'm, I'm probably gonna turn it on low for like a couple hours to kind of get the ingredients kind of you know like not mixed together but like flavored together but then I'm gonna turn it on low until we get home the girls have their dance slash gymnastics class tonight and so that way when we get done it will be ready for us so cooking the ground beef and then I'm gonna add everything to the crock pot everything like there it's like the easiest but it's so simple but it's so yummy and then I'm gonna make some cornbread muffins to go with it
got my ground beef. This is 93% lean. I also, um, obviously 96 would be less points if you're following WW. So we've got a pound of that. All right, and then I'm gonna do Campbell's tomato juice. So I did, actually didn't realize this um, after, like when I've cooked it in the past, but this is only one per point per eight ounces. So it is low in points. Really, the only thing you're counting is your ground beef. I don't know how many points I'm gonna count it as yet. I need to like figure it out. Ground beef and then maybe a couple points depending on how much soup you use for this. Um, and then veg all is obviously zero points. Well, at least for me it is because I do get potatoes for free. So this should be zero points for me. So I'm gonna drain a can of veg all. You could definitely do you know, fresh or canned or um, frozen veggies or something. I feel like I typically do the bigger can of this. I'm gonna see if I have one more can of these. So I'm gonna do a whole can of those. Oh, I feel like I do need one more can. If I have one more can, I'm gonna add it. If not, then I'm not, but that is literally it. I might add a little bit more pepper, but it is so simple, but it's truly like so good. Like you just can't get any simpler than this. So. I'm gonna let this cook for a little bit on low for a couple hours and then probably turn it on warm. And then, um, I guess I probably need to plug it up. I haven't done that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cook my cornbread muffins and that is our easy dinner tonight. You're counting for the ground beef, if you, if you follow Wet Watchers. Ground beef and a little bit for the tomato juice. And that is it, the easiest but such a good recipe. All right, we just got home from gymnastics. Our vegetable soup is done and I'm plating it. I've got yours, it is so hot though, okay? I'm letting it cool off just a little bit. Yes, I've just got her just a little bit. She's probably not gonna eat this, but we're gonna, we're gonna at least try it. We've got our cornbread and we're gonna go ahead and eat some dinner. And then I also have to share, when we eat vegetable soup, we love this with it. We just feel like a little spoonful in there and it's so yummy. All right, we are gonna go eat our dinner and get the kids to bed soon and finish cleaning up, although the house is not too bad. But thank y'all for coming along for my day. My getting a lot of stuff done today and my lazy day for myself. But, well, getting myself ready and stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Come along. Don't forget the links are below to check out Robo Rock if you guys are interested. And I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye.